Hi, I'm Caleb McAllister. I have been training for close to 15 years, if you count martial arts in general. I started as a kickboxer with Muay Thai and Jung Fan, then quickly transferred to MMA. Uh, quickly figured out from there that learning some grappling would come in handy, and then about five years ago I started shifting my focus to professional submission grappling. Well, I always say my favorite submission is the cardio tap. My specialty is weaponizing pace. There are many, many more talented, more naturally gifted grapplers and athletes than myself out there. But for 15 years, my goal has been to make sure that there isn't a single person on the planet who can match my pace. So that is my specialty. Weaponizing pace, making sure that no matter how tired I get, they always get more tired. I've talked about many times that my goal is to be aggressive, but not wildly aggressive, not controlled by it, not sloppy in my aggression, which I have had obviously pros and cons with over the years, but my goal is to continue to become more surgical and more precise with my aggression, which is why I've always been a huge fan of Geralt of Rivia, the Witcher, because he is a perfect example of using his aggression as a weapon to overwhelm his opponents without ever being controlled by it himself. That is always my goal in my own personal style as I express myself in each match that I take. I'm a big fan of the rule set and of the format. It's very challenging. Um, when I did it the first time, it was over the course of several months, which was challenging um, to keep putting yourself into that situation every week. This will be challenging in a different way where it'll be compressed into a week where it's a shorter period of time, which means you have less time to recover, uh, to heal up injuries, to prepare for your upcoming opponents. Um, I'm a big fan of how the PGF rule set rewards aggression. It rewards sub-hunting, it does not reward stalling, um, which is right up my alley. That's what I love to do, which is why I've always been a fan of this format. My training has been fantastic. To be honest with you, um, I was incredibly blessed in how successful I was in season one. Um, I think I had uh, 22, 23 wins, something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, but I'll be honest with you, the Caleb of today would absolutely decimate the Caleb of season one. Uh, I'm not exaggerating, that's simply the fact. Um, I'm incredibly blessed and incredibly privileged to have some absolute monsters of training partners with a very broad range of different specialties that can push me in different areas to help me prepare. Um, so, you know, my, my guys and girls, uh, my teammates and coaches at the Renaissance Academy of Martial Arts, um, they've, they've been pushing me very hard and I'm incredibly grateful for their help. Um, I've also been trying to make sure, make sure that I continue to stretch myself to try new things, to cross train. Um, you know, I always try to give credit where credit is due. Um, a lot of people, of course, that I've learned from um, in, in preparing for this, uh, Dave Porter, uh, been a, a great uh, role model and example of mine for, for a long time. I've got a lot of work in uh, with him over the years and more recently, uh, you know, just in case anybody's been at Darces or anything. I'm not sure if that'll be anything I need to worry about. Um, uh, I've trained a lot with, uh, with Greg Nelson, you know, he's a, a legend in the MMA world. He's probably one of the best uh, in the game at blending wrestling with jiu-jitsu. Learned a ton from him, always loved getting to train with him. Um, trained a lot with Brian Hall, you know, another guy that I've loved to study for years. Definitely uh, learned a tremendous amount from him every time I get to put work in. Um, so between the amazing training partners that I have at my gym and the people that have put effort into developing my game on the locations. I've got a lot to be grateful for. Well, to be honest with you, at the end of the day, my goal is to make sure that every match that I take, that I entertain the fans to the absolute best of my ability. I've said many times I would rather lose an exciting match than win a boring match. And that's something that depends on me. I'm going to go out there in every single match and do the absolute best that I can to put on a show for the fans and make sure that it's worth their time to tune in. If I can do that, then I've accomplished my goal. Good question. We'll put it this way. Season one was very successful for me, but it was more successful for one person. So a lot of people have asked me, you know, what the appeal was in 
coming back for season three. At the end of the day, it's unfinished business. I did well, but I could have done better. This season I ended into it. Make no mistake, my job is to win the 170 pound PGF championship. Thank you so much, guys. Whether you've been a fan of mine for years or whether you're a brand new fan this season, I appreciate every one of you. Um, thank you for your support. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for tuning in to watch. Make sure you put me on your fantasy teams early. I will try to make you some money. Make sure you tune in for season three PGF this January.